Sometimes I am afraid even to go home. Why are some women made like this? They are wonderful on one level but quite terrifying on another level. Never surrender. Human intelligence, genius, brilliance, talent, competence at the altar of good behavior. If she is like a rose plant, you just have to nourish her so that there are also one hundred roses for the one hundred thorns. The question is from Mr. Shankar from Tirchulapali. Namaskaram Sadhguru. My wife is a wonderful woman, but she has a sharp tongue. Sometimes I am afraid even to go home. Why are some women made like this? They are wonderful on one level, but quite terrifying on another level. Please sh throw some light. <laughs> light is coming up. Well, <laughs> because... Uh, Because generally, generally, I'm saying, because some women will argue about this, generally, women have less muscular strength than a man. When uh, situations go a little out of control, man uh, <laughs> wants to use his hands because that's all he's got. So a woman, right from her young age, she sharpens her tongue because she knows her muscles are not as big and strong as a man's muscles, so her tongue is maybe way sharper than yours. You can't wag it like it, like her. Generally, this could be true for most people. So, <laughs> it's not just a sharp tongue, You know, in India, you're from Tiruchinapalli, I think Navaratri is close by. It's all about the devis or the goddesses in India. Except a few who are very civilized, kind. Rest of them, you heard of them? Rakini, Dhakini, Lankini, Chinnamasta, Chandi, Kali, Bhairavi, you heard of all of them. Oh, these are terrifying women, usually tongue hanging out, you've seen <laughs> Blood dripping sometimes from their mouths because they'll bite off your head. <laughs> but we made such women worship worthy in our country because of some other quality that they have, like your wife, she's a wonderful woman. <coughs> wonderful on one level, but quite terrifying on another level. So, so is Bhairavi, so is Chandi, so is, Cha so is Chamundi, so is Kali, so is Chinnamasta, <coughs> many, many, many of them. They are wonderful on one level, quite terrifying on another level. So it is your skill to get the wonderfulness of their... of their quality towards you, and their terrifying quality goes towards somebody else <laughs> The wonderfulness should come for you. Uh, that is a skill you have to learn. But the whole idea of why the goddesses are like this is for you to understand if there is a wonderful quality either in terms of talent or intelligence or brilliance or some genius within a person or right now we're talking about women if there are such qualities in a woman that she has certain streak of genius or she has extraordinary talents, or she is super wonderful in something, we don't want to surrender her intelligence, her brilliance, her genius, her talent, her skills at the altar of good behavior. Because you can 
train your puppy dog to behave well. If you want good behavior, that's why everybody these days, instead of getting married, they're getting a dog, you know. Because uh, you can train your puppy for good behavior. So if good behavior is all you're looking for, then that's what you should settle for. But if you're looking for other possibilities, not necessarily always, but uh, sometimes it comes with not so good behavior, maybe sometimes with certain amount of nastiness. It depends what values you're looking for in your life. But uh, I know you are saying, Mr. Shankar, hey, what's your second name? Pillai? <laughs> now I'm... Now I'm getting ideas <laughs> Well, <laughs> if you're... if you're that one, I'm sure you're skillful enough to handle this terrifying situations. Well, but never surrender. Human intelligence, genius, brilliance, talent, competence at the altar of good behavior. Good behavior can be learnt, intelligence cannot be learnt, genius cannot be learnt, you have to unleash it, you cannot learn it. In the process of unleashing a, a significant possibility, in case, not necessarily, don't take this as a... as an endorsement of your bad behavior. I'm not saying that. If you want to have some bad behavior, you should show some extraordinary uh, talent or uh, brilliance or intelligence. Otherwise, you have no right to throw yourself around. <laughs> Even then, you have no right. But uh, never surrender significant aspects of human life in the form of intelligence, competence, brilliance, genius, at the altar of good behavior, because good behavior can be learned and it's only socially significant, it has no life significance as such. So, uh, the wonderful wife that you have, Uh, if she is like a rose plant, she has two roses or one rose and one hundred thorns. You just have to nourish her so that there are also one hundred roses for the one hundred thorns. Well, the number of thorns for the size of the plant it is, it stays constant but the number of flowers can be enhanced. I think that's what you should do with this wonderful wife of yours. I'm sure she's a wonderful woman, but little tongue-lashing department is strong. Uh, you must find some other victim for her, and you must get the wonderful part of her <laughs>